Hello, this is Phyllis Wilson with my motivational moment or motivational minute. And I'm talking about springing into action. What exactly does that mean? And I was thinking about that as I was starting to make my list of my daily routines of what I want to do or tasks that I need to get accomplished before the end of the day. It's my wall fireplace. But anyway, I was thinking about springing into action. And what that means is, is that your ideas, your suggestions, things that interest you may just be an interest. Like if you ever desire to learn how to play the piano or speak another language or something along those, those lines of something that you were interested in or have always had a desire to learn about or do or places to go. Well, even though you can't go there now does not mean you're springing into action can't consist of you planning it or you looking into how much is that going to cost or um, saving the money to be able to do it so that when you're able to, you can spring into action. A lot of times we let things become a shoulda, woulda, coulda because we didn't take the time to spring into action or we didn't make the plans or preparation so that we could spring into action. So my motivational moment for you today is think about those things that may have even been a desire or you thought about it or saw a commercial about it or someone talked about it or became the most latest buzzword that's going around and you thought about it and said that would be interesting or I'd have a desire to do it or um, it might even be an original idea you came up with for a screenplay or something else. Along the lines, you should take the time, plan it, and then spring into action because otherwise you'll talk yourself out of it that idea, that dream, that vision, that desire, that shoulda, woulda, coulda will be just that. A shoulda, woulda, coulda. If you don't spring into action. So I challenge you to think about it and just simply spring into action.